Oh, two armsies. Welcome back, everybody, for your daily dose of MSG. We are here again today with the forest, and coincidentally, it's also Shark Week. Now, originally, I was going to do a bunch of sharky stuff today to commemorate Shark Week, but then we also had an update, and I got a cannibal running right past me. Anyway, on the new update, they tweaked the machete. It is now designed to work better against cutting down little shrubberies, you know, the, the small trees like this one right here. So we are going to go ahead and try to get that today. And I'm going to show you the probably the best way right now to get to the machete at the bottom of the sinkhole. And that is through this cave right up here where you can see in the upper left. So you're going to have to go along the little land bridge there. And the reason I'm going to take you down this way is because I've tried different ways. You can go by a zip line, dropping into the sinkhole and trying to land this one little pool of water. And that's great. But you still have to climb back out. You can try jumping down some ledges. And that is so hit or miss too. That you're going to die a lot trying it. And even if you make it down, you still have to climb your way back out. So we're going to go through the cave and actually see the normal way to get down. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, bring some food. Make sure you bring water. Uh, if you've already got the flashlight, bring it because we're going to be inside the cave a lot. Bring plenty of sticks and cloth, of course, so you can make torches that way if you want to. I'm actually going to go ahead and get one ready, and we're going to hop inside the cave. All right, so right now we're already inside the cave, and you can see there's some gory stuff here. Some people who have been kind of cut in half. It's interesting that this guy's been cut in half through his skull. Seems like it'd be a lot more trouble than it's worth for that. we got coins. Which is good for making explosives. Talk, gotta watch. Oh, grab the tennis ball by accident. Okay. And, oh, it's gonna light it anyway. Okay, so visual glitch. <laughs> and you know what? Alright, fine. Whatever. We're gonna switch to the flashlight since it has been upgraded. And I don't have. I have no circuit boards to make explosives right now, so I'm just going to have to ditch the watches. We're going to go through, and what you're going to do is you're basically going to come along and be climbing down a lot. Yep, there's some cannibals. Oh, man. Come on. You're not the easiest ones to fight with the, uh... Oh! Whoa! Armsy! Armsy! No! Die, dude. Leave me alone. I'm not here to fight you. I'm gonna fight this armsy. Oh! Man, every hit is putting out my fire. Uh, I think I need to actually, like, put... I guess more on it, because it keeps trying to light it and then not lighting it, and then it lights it with my, uh... lighter actually put away? Is there, like, water falling on me or something? Am I just having problems with this lighting right now? Oh, tell me that killed him. Nope. Alright, you know what? Uh, flare gun. Easier way to set you on fire every time. Am I under a waterfall? Oh, man. Okay. So, yes, uh, be prepared for some fighting down here. Alright, so, you can climb all the way down, and then you're supposed to break through the walls here. Hopefully, the, the armsy is just a random spawn, not a normal thing. But you see, we are back down here. And I think this is the same cave where we were over on that side earlier trying to get the, uh, uh, what was it? A the rebreather? I can't remember. But we are going to basically just keep climbing down. There's going to be a whole series of stuff. Here's some more red paint. So, you know, if you haven't already got it from one of the air locations, you can get it here. Uh, we got another thing I can't see now because of the lighting. Uh... New notes, okay. And you're just basically gonna keep coming across a bunch of ropes going down. But you are gonna need also the uh, climbing axe 
So if you haven't got that, I'll put a link below in the description for my uh, video where I go and grab it. You're going to need to get it. And we're just going to climb across. Alright, so we should be by the bottom of this waterfall. And of course, we got another cannibal. And here's some babies. Ah! And you'll also find this interesting little artifact here. Apparently, there must be like, they must have changed something. Either the update has a glitch to do with the lighting the sticks and such or they change something in the cave where this cave acts like it has a lot of water vapor in the air from the waterfall making it impossible to keep a torch lit like you know a, a flaming torch not a torch like British people call uh, flashlights well, let's see, you just keep going through there. You're going to find this ledge. And there is nothing there. Oh man, my batteries are failing. It's a good thing I've got a ton of batteries. And you're going to come along and what you're going to see is there's an opening here that you can't get through. It's just kind of a, a opening looking in. So you're going to have to come back this way and you're gonna see right here at the ledge is gonna drop down again and if you need it for your rebreather you have air canisters but i've got 70 seconds left and i already hear an rmz below and so you come around the corner here there is water there but if you come around the corner You'll find sleeping bags and some more storyline stuff. A bunch of skulls. If I can get my light out again. And more cannibals. I like how they don't even notice that I am shining a light on their butts. Come on, two for one special. And you just keep going along that path. You'll have those two cannibals. You'll find all these boards, it looks like, like planks and such. There's some meds around the floor. Uh, and then you'll just keep going to this. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. That was glitchy. Looked like there was an armsy and a legsy, uh, Virginia, in the water there. And they just kind of glitched up into the sky. Okay, so when you come to this, you're going to come up here and you're going to see this big opening to your right. And looks like like an altar kind of thing there. Something like maybe they were doing... Like, I mean, they got lights all over the place. And there's a whole bunch of babies down there. But don't worry about this right now. What we want is to get to the sinkhole. So you want to go back kind of the way you were uh, coming from. And on the left is going to be another set of boards we have to chop down with a few decisive hits from our axe and more cannibals so yeah you're going to end up running into a lot of cannibals again no reason to be well supplied oh man i'm using losing a bunch of armor all right so i killed the cannibals burned them made some more bone armor and now what i'm going to do is you're going to come up to this little area here and I'll put on my rebreather. We're going to go swimming. Say hi to Mr. Fish. Ah, and found our first tape. Yeah, there it is. So we found our first VHS tape for the camcorder, which we don't have yet. Uh, that's all right. 
And now we need one other thing that you're gonna need in this. And that is dynamite or an explosive of some kind. We'll do a quick little light and then drop it right there and take cover. Oh, and right then I hear an armsy say hi. And I see him. There you are, Mr. Armsy. Oh, yep, he could jump down. Oh, two Armsies! Whoa! Why, why do I get two Armsies? Oh, he drowned. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Climbing axe, out now. Go. Climb like your life depends on it because you're about to be attacked from behind. I don't think he could get up the ledge. I think that, I mean, they could drop down. I don't think they can like sit there and grab hold and be like, oh, hey, I'm going to climb. Okay, that's weird. I don't remember coming to this one. But there's stuff already on it to open the door. So we're just going to go ahead and accept. Oh, man, I'm hearing more. Yep, yeah, more cannibals. All right, Tom makes her bone armor again. <laughs> All right, so after you take care of some more cannibals, huh? Okay, something might be glitched now. I don't know, unless they changed it so that these doors are always open. So I, it was my understanding you actually have to open the doors. And look, it... That other one did the same thing too. It sounded like it was opening afterwards. Like, I walk through and it makes it sound like it's continuing to open some. So it may be my game is glitched for some reason. But alright, we are here in another section. Uh, that we are just gonna kind of fall on this land bridge right here. That is clearly marked for their use too. I'm not sure if, if you fall off it, you're gonna be able to get back up. So, you know... Try not to do that. And we're just going to continue forward. And at this point, we should be pretty much close to the exit. And there we are. Another door that is already opened. And there it goes again. You see that? It's, it's got to be a glitch. And here we are. And I've got the machete. Woo! All that to get the machete. I'm going to double check. Make sure there's nothing else around. I don't think there is. Except for Mr. Cannibal here. <laughs> Sounds like more of them too. Yelling around the area. Or maybe that's just him echoing. And look, there looks like another cave entrance there. Okay, well, I'm going to dispatch... Mr. Cannibal here and make my way back out. Hopefully without all of the uh, interaction I've just experienced with cannibals. Because that was not... Uh, that's not going to be pleasant having to do it a second time. Okay, so I am right back at the uh, outer edge of my safety zone from my base. You can see my traps in the distance. There's the crane and platform from last week. And... I don't need any sticks, but we need to test out this new machete. So let's go ahead and try it out because it's supposed to be re-adjusted uh, to be great for chopping down the small bushes for sticks and leaves and such. And as you can see, what normally takes two hits, even with the katana, is now one hit with this. Let's see what it does on these. Right. I'm not sure. Nope, one hit. So, yeah, if you're going to be doing a lot of stick harvesting, go ahead and take the opportunity to get the machete. It's going to really help you out. So now that that's out of the way, we actually have one of the cassette tapes. We've got the machete. That's the main points of the new update besides some bug fixes. I'm going to get inside. I am going to save real quick, get me some more food. And we're going to continue on with one more piece of the episode. Okay, so now that I have saved, gotten some food in my belly, 
got myself supplied. I've gone ahead. I have used one of the air canisters on the way back up so I could grab one of the refill ones on the ledges that we found. So I'm going to put on my rebreather. We're going to hop down here and I'm going to show you kind of what I was doing before if you've been following me on Twitter and such. I was just kind of swimming around looking for clams. Apparently you can find clams or maybe it's oysters uh, out in the water and harvest them to eat. Well, I was doing that, looking around, kind of found this stuff here and that over there. And I was like, well, doesn't look to be anything interesting. So I started swimming back. And I then noticed a little blob, dark blob out in the water. And then I got here and because you can kind of see how the rendering does with the water, uh, you can see through it. I noticed it looked awfully lot, a lot like a shark. And I just kind of stayed in the water and he kept coming closer and closer. And he finally came up on the, into the beach. Not on the beach, into the beach. Swimming through the sand trying to get at me. So I'm going to just keep doing this, try and entice uh, another shark to come out. Oh, wait, no, there we go. I see him now. He just showed up. All right, come on, Mr. Shark. Come on. You know you want to. I think I remember using the spear to get him. Alright, Mr. Shark. I saw you. Whoa. Turtles came up. A like, bunch of turtles coming up. That kind of got me a little worried. Like, Shark snuck up on me from the side. Okay, well, Mr. Shark got stage fried. Apparently he doesn't want to support us on Shark Week. Uh, so that is going to be it for the uh, episode today. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, you know, if this episode helped you, let me know that. If you have any problems getting to the sinkhole, leave a comment. I'll try to help you on that. If you have problems getting back out of the sinkhole, watch it in reverse, and it will totally make sense. I promise. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, I will have in the notes below again. You you can actually find my video links for getting the climbing axe and for getting the rebreather if you need those. So be sure to check those videos out and just, you know, hey, watch the whole playlist start to finish because it, uh, it gets better from the beginning. I'll tell you that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe and take the little notification bell so you can get notified during the week when I post. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.